Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of my beautiful and juicy and delicious little beans out there. Now then, just gonna, it's all right, my phone looks like it's a little bit lopsided for some reason. <laughs> I've screwed it back in the, um, what do you call it? <laughs> the tripod, right? But, um, you know, it reminds you of that uh, film, doesn't it, years ago? You know, the tripod, you know, where they go, shh, shh, shh. It's a bit like that, isn't it? Anyway, never mind. Don't notice. It just came to my mind then for some reason. I forgot what year that film was. It was a very, it's a very old film, isn't it? You know, like they're larger than life and they're just sort of... <laughs> like that right <laughs> anyway it's been years since i've watched it anyway so before i do anything else my little lovelies three two one beam me up scotty there we go right now then i hope that all of my beautiful and delicious okay and wonderful little beans are all well out there i hope that you are my little lovelies okay and that you've all had the most beautiful and joyous and happy weekend wherever you've been over the you know all over the world okay it doesn't matter i hope that you're all deliciously happy okay it is a monday morning okay and it's a little bit at this point in time it's very well it's not sunny anyway and it, and it is a little bit chilly actually as well where i am anyway it could be different in other parts of the uk okay it could be brilliant sunshine somewhere Okay, but here it's very, you know, do you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, I've already discussed that before about what happens, right? So, anyway, I'm yet to, anyway, that's another, that's another conversation for another day. Anyway, we need to get back to the matter in hand. So, if you do happen to like, the video, my video, okay, and it does happen to gel with you, okay, because it will be for some of you out there, okay. Now, I was out walking, sorry, let me just rewind, right, please could you like, subscribe and share if you do find this video that I'm sending out interesting today. Okay, and I would be so very humbled, so very grateful. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now then, and thank you so very, very, very much. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my beautiful and wonderful and delicious and juicy subscribers. Okay, because I'm so very, very thankful. Okay, from the bottom of my heart, you're so beautiful and wonderful to me, and I will be eternally grateful for it. Okay, so I just want you all to know that, my little lovelies. And much, much, much love to you all, okay? Now then, I was out walking my little rubes this morning, my beautiful little ruby Tuesday, right? And for some reason, something came into my mind, okay? And I thought, oh, as you do. Do you know what I mean? So I'm walking along, you know, looking at the trees as you do, yes? And, uh, I mean, I mean, when you look at a, tr a tree, right, so I'm, I'm just trying to say something here. When you look at a tree, okay, you can imagine like the tree of life, can you not, okay? I mean, there's lots of spiritual magazines on that, actually, the tree of life, okay? But what it is, is when you look at a tree, it's like anything, isn't it? It's like you, you plant a seed, right? And then, you know, it could take years, I mean, I mean, some little trees, I mean, they grow rather quickly, don't they? You know, they do. You know, and then you've got other little trees where they take years and years and years to grow. Do you see what I mean? Anyway, I just happen to be looking at the trees, <laughs> you know, as you do. And then I had a, a name that popped into my head. You know, as so I'm walking with my beautiful little ribs. Okay. And the name, and I am going to give it out, is called uh, Julie. Right, see my shoulders are going up, see I go all cold across my shoulders. Right, confirmation. Right. So, whoever this young lady is, I do feel she's pretty young. Okay? And she does have lighter hair, I, I know that for sure. She doesn't have dark hair like me, not at all. Right? 
Well, if she happens to stumble across, I hope that she'll listen to the video. And of course, this, you know, could very well jowl with uh, some others out there because, because it is not going to jowl with everybody, okay? It's not going to be, you know, affecting everybody, okay? But for any of you out there, my beautiful little lovelies, okay, both man and woman, right? You may know somebody who is in this situation, okay? So today's topic of conversation is going to be controlling man and woman and narcissists, right? Because as I was walking around, I was thinking, you know what, I thought, I just... So I thought I just cannot shake this off, okay? And I thought, you know what? I thought I'm going to get done what I need to get done. And I thought, you know, because I've been up juicy and early. I've been up since five o'clock this morning, right? Mind you, I was in bed at nine o'clock. <laughs> I thought I'll have an early night for a change, right? So, and anyway, I had a juicy and delicious sleep. So I do feel whew, rocking and rolling now, right? So let's get into this. So if we just sort of rewind a moment back to the tree, right? You know, but to any tree actually for that matter, right? And as we know, there are hundreds of different types of trees, aren't there? Just like there are hundreds of different types of man and woman, you know, sorry. We won't, <laughs> getting all tongue tied here. Rewind again, just like there's hundreds of different types of men out there. So both man and woman, they're all different types, aren't they? Do you sort of me? So what I want to discuss here, right? So you've got different you've got different situations. So you could have a situation, I'll keep getting control. Right? So you could go into a situation, and to be quite honest with you, I mean, you do see it quite a lot. And I mean, over the years, I mean, I've been a reader, you know, for years, as you know, you will all know, you know, uh, listening to my other videos, right? So you will already know this, right? But for those of you who's happened to stumble across very kindly, you will not know, okay, unless you uh, browse through my videos, right? But I've been a reader for many years, and, and the thing is, one of the places, well, in fact, two places, actually, that you would find these type of uh, personalities, type of characters, shall we say, because like I said before, we're all on stage anyway, right? Would be like social media, and others could be certain dating sites well of course you know i've never in a million years and i tell you that point blank ever wish to go on one of those sites okay it's just not my cup of tea do you know what i mean but i mean for others you know they enjoy doing it so you know i mean i'm not putting dating sites you know down out there okay i'm just saying right But being a reader for the years I have, I've heard many stories, okay? And, you know, occasionally you'll get a, a really, you know, happy story. I mean, I must have heard of, what, three? In the whole of that time, right? But generally speaking, not. Okay. Okay, 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 I've got to add something else in now that's just came in. Energy vampires. Right? So it's ones who have, you know, um, how can we put it now? You know, like where they have not healed. And this is what you actually tend to find, right? So everybody, please do not have a go at me out there, right? You know, I mean, I have my opinions and you have yours. This is a discussion, okay? If you do not like the discussion, I'm, I'm 
really sorry about that, okay? So maybe this is not the channel for you, okay? I'm just having my... I'm discussing my thoughts, okay? And my opinions, right? Which I do feel that I'm entitled to do, right? And that's what I'm doing. So I'm not here to directly offend one or offend another. I'm just saying, right? So anyway, let's proceed. So... What you find is that, and I've heard it so many times, it's like a stuck record to me, honestly. And of course I try and advise many times, you know. But it's where a man or woman, okay, are in their lives, okay. So nine times out of ten, let me just break this down. So I need to break it down so it's more understandable, right? So this is like saying that, you see, because when you meet somebody, right, it, it, it doesn't matter how this rock and rolls here, how, however you meet this man or woman, right? And whether you are a man or woman, that, that's really, you know, I'm not saying it doesn't matter, I'm just saying, so I do not mean it that way, you know, right? That, you see, if you're not on the same vibration, Right, so you could have one that's down here at the time and then you could have the other which is up there, right? So this is what I've seen a lot of, so, right? And I've heard a lot of on phone lines, you know, and I've had many, 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 many come to me for readings over the years, right? I can assure you of that now, right? And I've seen many tears as well, many crying over the years, I can assure you both man and woman, right, for that matter, right? And what it is, and especially like on social media, let me go back to that, right? On certain sites, shall I say. I'm not going to name them, I'm just saying, right? So what happens is, you meet this man or woman, yes? And what happens? They get, ch -ch 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 -ch, do they not? Yes, but you will always find that one is more healed than the other. So therefore, there is no balance like it's not like that. Do you see? So what then happens is, right, is that the one who is healed... Right, so that could be more man or woman, right? So they are healed from any ills. You know, what I mean by ills is, you know, not like, you know, physically poorly. Like, I mean from emotional, do, do you know what I mean? Like, say they could have come out of a relationship, they could have been out of, I don't know, they could have been out of a relationship for one year, two years, five years, ten years, twenty years, some. Yes? Right? And then, of course, they come across this other man or woman, yes? And, of course, you know, you look at the old boat race and everything, you think, oh, they look all juicy and delicious, you know, because I've seen it so many times. Yeah. Right? And then, you know, they get talking as they do, yes? I've heard this so many times, I swear to dear God, Jesus Christ, and Nazareth, they have, right? And then you find that the one who's healed... Right, finds themselves, I call it politely speaking, it's a bit like a lamppost, you know, you just stood still, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? Because, because at the end of the day, a lamppost doesn't go anywhere, does it? You know, unless it takes something really terrible, you know, to shake it up, you know, for, for the, the, the lamppost to fall. But other than that, it's straight, is it not? Right? So it's almost like the one who is not healed props themselves up against the lamppost. Are you following me? Do you see what I mean? Now, you can get different types of situations. Now, if the other one is not healed, right, the one who's propping themselves, and all that they were looking for is a prop. Do you see what I mean? They were looking for someone to come along. Do, 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 do. You see? To prop them up. Do you see what I mean? And I've explained this on so many face-to-face -face readings. I really, really have. 
and so many over the phone readings, you know. And I've said to them, to both man and woman, because it affects both, you know, right? And I've said, but you know, I said, but if you're healed, you know, and you're healing the other who is not quite healed, then who is healing you? Do, do you see what, do you follow what I'm saying? Do you see what I mean? And then, of course, we've heard other stories which have not been so nice. And I've seen it over the years, so many times. You know, I mean, over the years I'm talking now, where, you know, even somebody who's come to me for me, oh, I, I, I can't tell my husband or I can't tell my wife where I am. Well, well, why? Do you know what I mean? So, therefore, I would say that that particular situation, that's control. Do you see what I mean? Because uh, both man and woman should be able to go wherever they want to go, to do whatever they want to do. Do you see? I mean, you can even have where... Say you've got, uh, I don't know, somebody who goes through your phone. Do you know what I mean? So they're going through your phone when you're asleep. Do, do, do you follow me, what I'm saying? Right, it's, it's just, it's, it's little things like that. See, see what it does, it starts off very small, you know. It's a bit like a marble, you know, a marble. Do you ever remember playing Marley's when you were younger, yes? So it starts off like a little uh, marble, right? And then it ends up quite colossal. But when you first meet the man or woman, you do not realise what you're walking into. Do you see what I mean? Now, you can get other situations where, because um, there's a point to everything that I'm saying today, you can get another situation where maybe because you've got control and then you've got neediness. So it, what it, it, so it knits together. My dear Nana, God bless her beautiful dear. So oh, good afternoon, dear Nana. Right? She taught me to knit. Well, I used to be able to crochet as well, actually, but I've forgotten how to do that. <laughs> it's been, been years, actually. Right? But what I'm saying to you is, is this. It, they go together, okay? Because control is about wanting that man or woman, yes, to be where their other half, their boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife wants them to be. Do you see what I mean? Like they have to, you know, they have to tell them when they go to the shop. I've heard that many times before as well, yes. Just to go to the shop. Do you know what I mean? What, so you cannot even walk to the shop? I, I mean, I found it really hard to understand because I had not, you know, and thank dear God Jesus Christ and Nazareth for that, not being rude, but I never, you know, wasn't, wasn't that bad. Lummy neck. Right? But... When they have to report everything what they do. See, I'm seeing a push chair now, someone. This is someone who's got a younger, uh, little, uh, back, like a toddler, either a toddler. So I'm not getting a small baby like that in the pram. I'm getting it like in a push chair. Right. So it's like a form of control, isn't it? Do you see what I mean? But then you see... If the other uh, party here, because you've got the one, because one's dominating the other, are they not? Do you see what I'm saying to you, right? But, but when you first meet them, right, then you're not seeing it. Do you see? Because it's like you've got rose-tinted glasses. Do you see? So you say, oh, but he only cares about me. Yes, that's... Yes, that's why he's doing it. Or she only cares about me. That's why she's doing it. No. Because I've seen it and it gets worse. 
I have seen it. Okay, I've heard it and I've seen it. Right? It's like I remember many, many, many years ago. This has just come into my mind, actually. And uh, and I was advertised, you know, I don't know if you ever remember the... Um, I don't know, it was a, it was a local uh, phone directory, anyway. Right. I, I, I do not even feel that they have those anymore. Because everything's now online, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But anyway, let me just continue. So this lady called me. I, I'm not going off the boil here. I'm just saying it's, it's something that's just come to me and then you're going to see what I'm saying. I'm trying to explain about different types of control here, right? Now she called me and she said, oh, she said, well, would I be able to have a reading, please? Right? I mean, I'm not laughing at that. It's just when I tell you, you're not going to... Well, I suppose you will because, you know, well, you know. And uh, and I said, well, well, what would you like? I said, would you like to come face to face? I said, oh, would you like an over-the-phone reading? So she said, oh, oh, well, you know, well, I cannot come out. I said, oh, right, I can. Right? And she said, oh, my husband's, you know, at work. I said, all right. Right, this is a true story now, this is. And then she explained to me that she's got a rock on her finger. It's six grand, six thousand pounds. But do you know what she wanted from me? I, and I've got to be honest with you, sweet. I thought, well, I thought my little sweet's out there. I thought, you know what? I thought, you see a woman there's a bit of a star, you know. <laughs> right? She said, well, can I have a free reading? Right? I thought, are you for real? <laughs> but she was being serious. Your woman there was being serious. She thought she could just pick up this directory. This is how hilarious it is. Right? I'm not talking about her situation. I'm referring to, you know, but she just thought she could pick up the directory, just call the reader and have a free reading. And at the same time, inform, inform the reader that she's got a six grand rock on her finger. I, mean, I thought, you know what, at the time, because I happened to be decorating, it was, at, you know, my old flat rose, and I happened to be decorating. I was doing the walls and the ceilings, anyhow. And so I was obviously answering the dog and bone at the same time, and, well, which leads me to say, I've fallen off a few flippy ladders in my time, anyway. <laughs> I need to concentrate more, anyway. Well, I've learnt my lesson now, anyway. Got a few flipping bruises here and there, do you know what I mean? But, but I'm all right, right? That's, you know. Anyway, so I thought, you know what? I thought, because, you know, it's nice to be nice, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So I thought, I thought I'll at least give her like 15 minutes of my time. Do you get what I mean? Which, to be honest with you, you know, it's a rarity you ever come across readers who are like that. I'm telling you that now. You're extremely lucky if you ever get one like that, I'm telling you, right? But then anyway, so she had like a 15 minutes. And then she called me the next day. Well, at this point, I thought, you having a laugh? Do you know what I mean? Because, I mean, I was trying to get other things done, right? Plus, at that time, I mean, it was like New Street Station. Because I had that many... Readings, do you know what I mean? They're coming and going, plus working on the phone line. Right, so I was just trying to have that bit of peace at that time just to get done what I wanted to get done. So I thought, oh dear, I thought I've got to stop it here. Do you understand what I mean? I thought, because, you know, otherwise she's just going to be on a dog and bone every flipping day of the week, you know what I mean? So what I'm saying to you is, and this is not being nasty, and it's not being nasty to that lady years ago, but what I have to say is, is this, what she was trying to explain that her form of control, like she had everything in the home, right? So I'm getting to the point now, what I'm saying. She had everything in the home that she wanted, you know, all the luxuries that she wanted, you know, she was explaining it all to me, just like a good one, right? She could have all the jewelry that she wanted, have anything that she wanted, go and get a wig done here, you know, go and get it done when she wanted, have anything she wanted. 
But you know the one thing your man there, her husband, would never give her? Pound, shilling and pence, dollars and change. Never give her a penny. But she could have anything she wanted. So what do we call that then? So we call that a form of control. Do we not? Do you see? So it's not a control. So it's like she can live in comfort, yes? And she can have all this, that and the other, yes? But she never had none of that. So that's why she was looking for outside sources to try and help her situation. Do you see? And some situations are not that easy to get out of. And I'm not going to go on, talk about it on, on uh, my video because different situations and different, different things. Okay, so I'm not going to discuss that because we go down a whole new road then, right? And I've heard plenty of that in my tongue. Right? So that's one form of control, yes? Then you've got another form of control. So, of course, when you first meet this man or woman, yes, you're saying to yourself in your mind, yes, and you're, oh, he's really nice, she's really nice like this. Oh, they just care about me. But then you see that they start uh, tightening. Do you see what I mean? So they've already, like, it's like a fishing line. So what they do is they sort of, you know, they sort of, I don't know what, what they do. They put like a little, you know, on the end of a fishing line. I mean, I know what it is. It's just I don't, do not want to say it, you know. And then they put it on the end of a fishing line and then they out, yes? And then think, oh, I want a nice juicy one. So then it's, mm, yes, we're going to get this one. See? Just like a good one, yes? So they really mean. Do you say? So... Once reeled in, say, they can then manipulate, you know, the controlling party, right? So it could be little things, say. So it could be little things. It could be, uh, I mean, I've heard so much over the years. Dear Jesus Christ, Nazareth, I have, right? I mean, I could tell you about my very, very, very first call on a phone line many, many years ago, but I'm not going to, it was so upsetting, it made me cry. I was crying with my dear, beautiful little client on the telephone. I was crying with, 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 the, with the dear lady at what had been done to her. Is that flipping wicked and evil? Isn't it? Anyway, if she lived next to me, I said to her, I said, you live next to me. I said, I said you could have come and have refuge at mine. Do you know what I mean? Anything to get her away from him. She's married to him. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that. It was just, it was just so disturbing, right? But you can have sort of what I call minor control, okay? And then you can have the more major control, okay? So, you've heard of this minor side, yes? And then it starts, they start ramping it up. Could be anything like, you know, why isn't my meal ready on time like that? I mean, that's another common one, right? Very common, actually, right? Could have another one where they could say, uh, for example, whoa, well, what are you wearing perfume for? Or, you know, depending man or woman. Or what are you wearing aftershave for? Right? Well, you know, sometimes somebody just wants to wear perfume or aftershave, don't they? Or body spray or something. But it could be something like that. Do you see what I mean? Okay. They could go out to go and visit family or friends, another one. You know, there could be 10 minutes, see? 10 minutes over. And then, you know, their man or woman, whoever they're with, well, where have you been? Look at, at the old flipping clock. Do you see what I mean? So it's like that. And then, of course, it can get a lot worse. 
you say. Well, in order to control their boyfriend, girlfriend or husband or wife, the other party, right? In the worst uh, cases, it can get very physical. In order to control who they're with. Now, I've quite often found, being a reader for all the years that I have, that usually what this stems, what it comes, you know, what, yeah, what it stems to, what it comes down to, is either that something took place, you know, like whoever it is who's feeling, because what this really comes down to is insecurity. Do you see? That's what it is. Okay? It's the same with a narcissist. A narcissist is the same. You have two, you know, two different types. Right? Do you see what I mean? Like but, but when you look at it, it, it all comes down to the same thing. It's, it, it's all about control. And it's how far you can push somebody. Do you see how much you can get away with? Do you see what I mean? You know, like, uh, I mean, I've met some in my time over the years. I really, really have. And I've met couples and, you know. And you can see it from a mile off. But I do not say anything because, I mean, it's not my... You know, it's not my business to say anything. Do you know what I mean? It's, you know, it's their lives. It's how they live their life. It's not my life. Do you know what I mean? But you see, narcissists, what they do is, you know, a certain, you know, one type is that they, again, it's a similar sort of thing, isn't it? You know, they... And it's like an energy vampire as well, because what they do is, right, it's like, it's like, it's like they're looking for the next, you know, who can either give them all of the attention, like 24 hours a day, seven days a week, like they have to have that attention. And then, of course, when they do not get the attention, what do they do? Throw the dummy out the pram. Do you say? Yes. Do you see what I mean? So you see, the point to everything what I'm saying here is that, you know, you have to be so mindful when you go into these situations. But of course, Sometimes you've got somebody who's with somebody for, well, I don't know, you know, a year, two years, three years, four years, five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. And then by that time, I mean, if they've been there, I mean, I mean I've known many cases where, you know, um, we've had married couples for 30 odd years. And by the time that it's time for the man or woman to leave, well, it's, well they're frightened to leave because... Because they've got nowhere to go. So they've got nowhere to go. And, I, and I've come across quite, quite a few of these over these uh, recent years as well. So they've got nowhere to go. They've got, they've got no pounds, shilling and pence, dollars and change. But they stayed in that situation. And, I, and I've heard about it so many times over the years, honestly. Until, you know, sorry, until, excuse me, until your hair will curl. Do you see? So like narcissists, they can be very manipulative. But of course, once they know that you know, do you see? Then they look for the next, I do not mean this in literal terms, right, it's a figure of speech, but then they look for the next target. You know, like who's going to pay them all the attention, who's going to, do you see? 
So, you know, and, and I mean, I've known many, right? And this is no joke when I, when I tell you this. So, I've known many, okay, dear clients of mine, where they couldn't even get to work. Do you say? You know, so it's a case where they could not even, um, you, you know, like even interact with other beings. Do, do you see what I'm saying to you? So, so there's, there's all different types, if you know what I mean. And all different types of situations. Was I feel for this uh, lady out there, Julie? Because all I say, Julie, and then of course, you know, I've got a push chair. Toddler. Little boy, actually. Little little boy in the, you know, push chair. Mm. So, all I can say is, is that you see, when you meet somebody, right? Because like I said, there's always a point to everything what I say. And what I'm saying is, is that, you know, if somebody is not healed and there are many types, okay, of different situations, we know that, right? I've done enough readings in my time to know, believe me, right? But one of the things is, um, well, this is the famous one that you hear, right? Where, you know, somebody's, I don't know, on the dog and bone, you know. Uh, and another one, you know, like when they're first dating, see this came into my head. Another one when they're first dating, it's like, you know, they, they're calling them, you know, for, you know, first thing in the morning, then at lunchtime, then in the evening, then at night, then like that. I mean, I mean, the question is, I mean, I mean... Please, I do not wish to be rude to anybody out there, but I mean, what on earth do you have to talk about? Like, I mean, please do not get me wrong. I mean, I can talk the, I'm, I mean, I love donkeys. I do, I, it's a figure of speech, but I can talk the iron legs on a donkey, but even I need to pause to come up for air. Do you know what I mean? Do you see what I'm saying to you? So it can start like that. So for some of you out there, please, I, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying my best to, to give good advice here. You know, it can start out like that, you know, where this, you know, I mean, you, you for yourself, you know, because you've already healed, you see. And what it is, you know, you could be going about your everyday life. Do you see what I mean? And then, then who's on your mobile, who's on your dog and bone? Do you see? Do you see what I mean? But what it is, because when you get a situation like that, and let's go back to when they were younger, so let's rewind what I was saying earlier. I went off, I went off and now I'm coming back to it. This usually stems from when somebody is either a young Ben or when they're an adolescent, so either something took place when they were very young. So maybe they could have been, I don't know, for some, not all, but maybe there could have been trust issues somewhere. Maybe there was a lack of trust. Maybe, you know, they thought they could trust somebody. There could be abandonment issues, you know. Do you see what I mean? So, so of course, because they haven't dealt with that, and this could be man or woman, they then carry it into their adolescence, a teenager, then they carry it into their adult years. Do you see? Do you see? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, excuse me. So, so of course, you know, sorry, I keep rocking my table. I do apologise, right? So, anyway, so, you know, so you have to be so mindful. I mean, I mean, there's no harm in, in having a, con you know, having a conversation with somebody. No, there isn't. There's no harm in that at all. Do you see? Because, you know, you, you know, if you could try to guide that, you know, 
but what it is, it's almost as if, it, like situations like that, it's like a needy situation, isn't it? It's like a needy situation. And I'm sorry to have to use that wording, but God loves the truth and that is the truth. Dear Jesus Christ and Nazareth, dear God. Do you say? And then, of course, you've got the ones where they're more controlling and it gets more and more controlling and, you, you know, and then you've got the, oh, it's wicked. Do you say? But then they could have experienced when they were young, okay, so we go to the other side of things now, they could have experienced when they were young, they could have seen physical violence taking place. Do you see what I mean? Or they could have seen it in their adolescence or early adolescence. Do you see what I'm saying? And then, then of course, then they carry it into their... Uh, adulthood, and then they, then in their minds, that's not in a nasty way, but in their minds, they 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 see that as normal. That that's just you know whatever our definition of normal is, but that's how they see it. So some of them can use physical in order to control another. Do you still see me? But I've always said the ones that you have to watch, I've said this for years and years and years, and I'm not being disrespectful to anyone out there, but the ones that you have to watch are the quiet ones. Do you see? Because they're very quietly manipulate, you know, they you know, they manipulate. And then before you know it, you've been reeled in. Do you see what I mean? And then it's, you know, then for some of you out there, my little lovelies, not for all of you, but it's not so easy to get out of. And I've seen it and I've heard it so many times over the year. Dear God, Jesus Christ, the Nazareth way. So, you know, so you have to be so, so mindful. You know, you have to say to yourself, well, what, what do I want, you know, what do I want in my life? You know, am I better on my own rather than going into a toxic situation because that's what it is? I mean, sometimes, I mean, you may even get a glimpse rather early on where they already start showing signs. Do you see what I mean? Of either narcissistic behaviour or controlling behaviour. Do you see? So it's not all about, oh, they care about me, they're lovely me, that's why they call me 27 times a day. Do you know what I mean? It's not about that at all. It's just so that they know they've got you where they want you. Do you see? Could be all different types, could be financial, you know, the we've all, like I said, the story to you earlier, it could be financial. There's, lot, there's lots of different signs to look out for. But what is important here, and I've tried to explain this for so many years, is that you have to be in the right place, okay? So you have to be in the right place emotionally, and please do not take me the wrong way, and mentally. You know, you know, in order to go into a new relationship with somebody, whether it is a man or a woman, but if, but if you're meeting somebody, yes, whether it's social media, so there's, there's just so much of this going on, especially with social media, you know, and, and, and then what happens is, and you know, different sites, but anyway, but what I'm saying to you is, is this, and then of course, you know, once you've got used, you know, to, to talking to that man or woman and they get used to talking to you, see, that's what, that's how it starts. Do you see? And then you've got others out there who play the victim. I'm sorry to have to say that, but they do. Dear God, Jesus Christ in Nazareth, I've heard it many, many, many times, believe me. You know, it's like, oh, if you leave me, I'm good. Do you see what I mean? I'm not going to say, but, you know, it's, it's, it's like, um, how can I say, it's like emotional blackmail. Oh, you cannot leave me, you cannot do this, you cannot do that, you know, crying. I mean, I've seen it in the street enough times over the years as well. 
Do you know what I mean? I mean, they're really het up and they're really upset about it. Do you see what I mean? And all it is is because they're losing that control. But like with any narcissist or any controlling man or woman, okay? Fact of the matter is, when they know that you know, see, then they just move on to, again, not meaning it the wrong way, then they move on to the next target. Do you see? And that's how it goes. So all I'm saying to, you know, for, for you that and that Julie, little Julie, God love her, right? All I'm saying is, is that when you go into a situation, make sure that the two of you are on the right, that it's balancing. Do you know what I mean? Because, because what happens is you can only heal a man or a woman so much. You can only go so far. You cannot continue. <coughs> Sorry, please excuse me. Jude, please excuse me. I need some water. I'm just coughing out negative energy, I feel. Sorry, please and thank, thank, thank you. Now then, you know, you cannot. Sorry about that. Uh, you cannot keep healing a man or woman because they have to do some of that work themselves. Do you see? You're not their keeper. Do you see? And then, of course, once you, you know, once it's clicked, shall we say, you know, I'm not being sarcastic, I'm just saying, once it's clicked, tweaked, right, then you take your power back, you pull your power back. Because there's only so much you can do in a relationship. But you see, nobody likes being, you know, where you cannot go here, you cannot go there. They need to know your every move. And then you've got other situations, yes, you know, where you cannot wear, uh, that's just, where you cannot wear certain uh, uh, clothes. And that goes for men and women, you know, man and woman. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I remember where I worked years ago. And there was this couple, I, I can see their faces now. And I, I mean, I'm going back, what, 20, 20 years ago. And I tell you what, as much as your man there loved it, it, his missus, I'm telling you now, and we seen it with our own eyes, the whole of the workplace saw it. She gave him one slap straight across his face and he hadn't done a thing wrong. Do you know what I mean? Well, sorry to have to say it that way, but we, we all seen it, we witnessed it. Well, in the end, they split up anyway. But she, she just continuously accused him of seeing other women. When what he was doing, we all knew where he was. He was working. He wasn't doing anything wrong. I've seen it. And I've seen it other times as well. Do you know what I mean? And again, you get jealousy, you get control, you get narcissism. It's just... And again, like I said to you, and I'll repeat it again, it goes back to either when they're young or when they're adolescents and they've had a, an experience of some sort or they've lost trust in something, so then they grow up with trust issues. And then before I end the video, there's one more thing. I always say that I'll never go over to where I went before, but, you know, with minutes. Anyway, the point I'm saying is this. I mean, I've just rambled on, but I haven't rambled on, actually, is the point to everything I'm saying. And then, of course, you know, you've got um, the other side uh, uh, of things. Like I said, you know, where, where you know you cannot wear, wear certain clothes or you cannot do this or you cannot do that. And then, that's what I was just about to say. It's just come back to me now. And then you've got the ones who accuse the other... Uh, 
husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend and then they accuse them of doing something wrong when they haven't done it, right? Which is similar to, you know, you're the man there, right? And then when they're doing it themselves? Do you see what I mean? And I've seen that many a times as well in, in the years. You see what I mean? It's like the, the, uh, the, the one who accuses is the one who's doing it themselves. Do you see? So anyway, the point of the video, just please try and avoid energy vampires, you know, ones who just want to suck your energy and suck you dry till you've got nothing more to give. Please try and look out for, you know, because there are a number of red flags and they're plain to see. Do you know what I mean? So easy to spot. You just got to, you know, spot it, but, you know, but... You know, but like, you know, you, like I said, you can only heal somebody so much, then they have to do the work themselves. You cannot continuously do that. Do you see? Because otherwise you're just going to be on the dog and bone day and night. And the other one that I've heard of, um, when was it? And that, that was a couple of years ago, actually. I, I actually knew somebody a couple of years ago. Mind you, I've known it over the years anyway, you know. But what I'm saying is, is that it became more and more and more. You know, and that's in the UK, this is. You know, when they go on these uh, dating, uh, whatever they're called, dating sites, and then, say, you know, you're man or woman. It could be man or woman, by the way. Right? As I've said before. And what they're doing is, it's like, you know, I mean, the one individual, the man or woman, they're feeling that, oh, I'm the only one. Yeah, they've got about five or six on the go. And they're emailing all of them. And I've had to say, you know, over the years, I've had to say if they've met someone on a, you know, they come face to face with me or over the phone, I said, well, have you checked other uh, dating sites? I said, I said, I said, check them as well. And then they come back to me and they said, oh, this is, didn't know. They said, uh, the, oh, he or she's on all these. And I said, what did I tell you? I said, get rid. I mean, I don't mean that in literal, you know what I mean? I said, just get rid of them. I said, oh, no, good. I said, I said, you, you deserve a thousand times better than living that life. Do you know what I mean? But it's so easy. It's so, so easy. And I'm hoping that whoever stumbles across my, uh, you know, my, my, um, you know, my video, my channel, please, dear God, Jesus Christ, Nazareth. I mean, I know that the video, I mean, really, I should have split it up into two parts. I mean, I just, you know, didn't spare a thought at the time anyway, but I've done it now. That was no point deleting it and starting again because then I forget what I've been saying so anyway so the point is you just please so you single ones out there just know what to look out for whether you know whether a man or woman is very needy or maybe they're controlling from the start or maybe they're very jealous from the start well that's all red flags is it not because it gets worse, you know. I mean, imagine a black widow spider. Well, I mean, black widow spider's female. And what she does, she, you know, she's got a big web, a large web. And then what happens? <laughs> got ya. Do you see what I mean? And it's not so easy to get out of. And I've met many, and I've heard many. So please, you know, just, you know, that's all I'm asking you to do, okay? And for little Julie out there, because she is out there, please, dear God, Jesus Christ and Nazareth, she stumbles across my video. God love her. Do you understand what I mean? But, you know, that's the situation there, anyway. I'm just hoping that we can... But there's an awful lot of it, and it's continuing and continuing anyway. On that note, I'm not going to say no more, because I'm still trying to sort me the other side out. I'm just having a few... 
issues at the moment. I've been trying to upload from YouTube onto another site and it's not quite going the way I'm wanting it to go. So I'm having to sort of, I don't know. But anyway, and I'm just going to be doing now my three card readings because as I'm not on TikTok anymore, I'm just going to be doing some more three card readings now I'll get that out of the way and then I'm going to have to go back and try and sort this out again. I'm trying every which way out at the moment. It's just not quite, I'm not too sure what I'm doing wrong anyway. But it's a long way to Tipperary, isn't it? But we'll get there eventually. Anyway, but I hope that this is helping some out there, okay? Even if it's not directly helping, you know, you may be able to pass the video on to someone else, you know, that they may be able to help their situation because there are, there are thousands out there. In these situations, there are... And if others that have just got the help in the first place, I do not mean that disrespectfully, but if they had got the help and dealt with their issues in the first place, then we wouldn't have all of this, would we? Anyway, but then on the other hand, you've got a lot of loving and beautiful couples out there, both man and woman and couples. You know, you've got some very loving ones. But what I'm trying to do is I'm just highlighting the other side of things. It's not very pretty and it's not very life, a uh, very sorry rewind. It's not a very nice life for whoever's living that. You know what I mean? And sometimes, you know, you have to just say bye bye and just walk. Do you know what I mean? Because, you, you, you know, you, you're not there as an emotional, do, do you see what I mean? You know, sometimes a man or woman has to do their own work, you know? Anyway, and on that note, much love to you all. God bless, okay? Take care. Till the next video, bye-bye.